Okay, when dealing with photo paint, you know, like if you're in a brush tool, um, you know, you can draw a brush, but you can also hold shift and then drag the mouse and resize your um, button. It's a little more convenient than Photoshop, honestly, but I guess I could reconfigure Photoshop's tools because, you know, you got to press the brackets, I think, to, to do that. But holding shift is a little easier. Um, Alright, if you double click on the erase button, it'll actually erase everything. Um, in fact, if you um, you know have an object like that and you double click on you know, if you double click on, you know, uh, a math tool it'll select like in this case the whole screen so um, if you double click on a lot of these things if it's not up you know a docker will show up so um, which I guess you can't dock to anything but maybe it's a, because it's a dialog box I don't know um, but anyway <clears throat> but you know you do have you know docked over here um, you know brush settings bar which could be interesting because you know you can um, I don't know what that's supposed to do but um, okay there we go but <clears throat> you can change things too like saturation range you know and, um, make it so the colors vary um, over here. So there's a lot more options you have here, um, you know, as you can see, than you do up here. I mean, this is very limited in what you have, but, you know, um, this also allows you to certainly resize it and, um, um, Tells how fast you want these parameters to vary. It's the speed. So, um, uh, at any rate, you get the picture, right? So, <coughs> it's got some pretty cool stuff you can do with it. <coughs> and just like in photo, Photoshop, you know, the brush can be you know, set to fade out at a certain point. Uh, I don't think this affects that, but uh, mm. <coughs> yeah, the stroke attributes, you know, seems to be where you affect the fade out. Let's see. goes a lot longer without fading out now so um, if you just fade out down to zero it would probably you know not fade out at all now see that fades out almost instantly so you know this is what affects the fade out so I don't know what 44 means but you know so if you want to just do a bunch of shit like that, that's great, so I mean, you know, but at any rate, you know, of course, you know, it's pretty mind-blowing, because you got, <coughs> um, you know, different modes you can have it in, too, like add and subtract, and, um, let me adjust my fade out, I wonder what negative means, oh, okay, Negative means it'll uh, fade in, I suppose. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's say negative. Four. 
I don't know what negative means. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but any rate, yeah. but any rate, yeah, it's uh, you know, like I said, when you consider just all the different fucking modes you can have, you know, and these brushes, oh my god, and then the fact that you got so many different kinds of markers on top of that, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, rather unbelievable. And again, you know, it's really as potent as what you get in in Photoshop, you know, because I mean, when you talk about the combinations of brushes and just all the different shit you can do, and again, you're not limited to grayscale brushes like Photoshop seems to be. I mean, the, the brushes seem to always be just one color, but here, you know, you can do multiple colors. But then, you know, you got all this fucking, these other attributes, um, you know, like that, and then, of course, you know, you can do, like, color variation on those, I assume, too. So, you know, orbits, um, so, <coughs> um, you know, hue speed, let's increase that, so, you know, so I'm saying, there's, there's so many, um, variations, you know, number of things you could do, I can imagine you could change the size of it, too, again, you know, it's, it's got a pretty powerful, set of capabilities and it's just you know then you got all these different nib shapes on top of that I mean um, you know for all these brushes it's just it's it's the permutations are just uh, mind-blowing okay when drawing with these tools you know you can hit control to constrain in a given direction so like you know constrain on the x-axis so that's pretty cool.